Warning, before playing this game, there will be multiple jump scares, loud noises, blood, may contain flashing lights, and is not suitable for people with epilepsy. This game is not suitable for children or those that experience suicidal thoughts or self-harming. This game is based off a number one favorite Lost cartoon episode on the creepy past of... Creepy past of webs? I don't know. But what's up, everyone? My name is Swift Edge, and welcome to Squidward's Suicide. So, just based off of that, this is going to be a bit of a darker game, so... If you want to opt out now, go ahead and do that. But we play as a character who has woken up from a deep sleep and has found himself in the SpongeBob universe, but something is wrong. Squidward is not himself, and we must continue through a series of trials doing what he says. Now, to note, this is only a beta of what this is, so this potentially might expand into something more. There might be a lot of more updates or whatever, so we'll just have to keep an eye on the page as it goes. Right now, I am just very curious about this. No, I'm not that curious anymore. Did your head just shake? Okay, yeah. Uh, what? Wait, what? Did I just fall asleep? Probably. I like that. Advertisement in the background. Love that. I d Walk to the light to start the episode. What the crap? Am I having an out-of-body experience right now? What is going on? Now, I wanted to also play this because I, as a kid, I watched a lot of SpongeBob. I love it. It's so funny. And the fact that now even my son will watch episodes and he enjoys it. He's just glued to the TV when it's on. Because it's just, it's great cartoon fun. It's awesome. Do I have to interact by pressing mouse? What light are you? Oh, that light. That's, a, I don't think that's a good light. And just, you know, Squidward has always been just this meme of a character and everything. And so relatable with his attitude and mood. So, of course, I wanted to play this game. How to play. Left click to interact. WASD to move. Hold left shift to sprint. Left click to open inventory. When you have a key card in inventory, it will already be activated. Left click and hold to drag the item and drop. Left click to view paper in inventory and right click to exit. So, wait a minute. Left click to interact. So, pretty much the mouse is going to be used to interact, but also open up inventory. Okay. Um, sure. Um, I don't... Press escape for mouse cursor. Okay. I didn't read the very bottom of... Oh, that's my stamina bar. Find the key card to unlock the door and discover the unknown noise. Whoa. So, so many, many key cards. cards. That's a lot. That's gonna be it. Uh, can I interact with that? Um. Oh, okay, there we go. I was an intern at Nickelodeon Studios for a year in 2005 for my degree in animation. It wasn't paid, of course, but most interns are. Most internships aren't. But it did have some perks beyond education. To adults, it might not seem like a big one, but most kids at the time would crap themselves over it. Well, and to be fair, like, you having an internship at that kind of studio is big. Okay, so I have to find the correct key card, but they all, you know, look like the right key card, don't they? What the hell is behind this door? That voice sounds familiar. Can I drop? This door's unlocked too. Better find a key card for what the noise is. What the crap is that? So I have to just find the right key card. Um, is there any one of them that stands out? Hmm. It would kind of be nice to see that. So I'm going to note that right now. It'd be nice to have something that just kind of stands out. Or maybe the key card's not actually there. Is it? No, it's not on any of these. Wait, it's not for that door? No, maybe it's... Maybe I gotta find something else for that particular door? Maybe there's a specific key for that door. Whoa, that's a lot more key cards. Holy crap. Hello, ring, ring. Mr. Krabs, I can't come into work today. I'm not doing too well. Um, okay, let me drag that then and drop that. There's... Nothing that really stands out for the two of these. Am I in Squidward's house right now? I'm very curious about that now. Never mind. Never mind. 
Okay, just based on these two windows, I think we're in Squidward's house. Oh, yeah, I found it. You know what? Not that important. It's not that important. Oh, God. Squiddy! Squidward! Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Dude, do you need to- What the <gasps> crap? Oh! Whoa! What is happening? Wait a minute, was that a trial? Oh, that, that would make sense, because it said we have to go through a series of trials. That would make sense. Where am I? Am I in water right now? Yeah. Uh-huh. Luckily, we fell into some nice water. It doesn't seem that deep, though. I should be dead. It's bloody dark in this place. Oh, no! I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh no! I worked directly with the editors and animators. I got to view the new episodes days before they aired. I'll get right to it without giving too many unnecessary details. They had very recently made the SpongeBob movie, and the entire staff was somewhat sapped of creativity, so it took them longer to start up the season. But the delay lasted longer for more upsetting reasons. What were the reasons? We're just gonna drop that note. The fact that Squidward had a trap door shut right behind him scares me. <sighs> Please, I didn't do anything. Are you watching me? You're kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure that there was even talks about at one point that there was a creepy past episode of SpongeBob, but I, I just never got curious enough to watch. Squidward, are you gonna hurt me? <gasps> Squidward. What the hell? Bro. I don't like the sound of that. I better go around and be very carefully. Not too close. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. We're just gonna, mm-hmm. We're just gonna, mm, we're gonna close that door. I don't like the fact that as soon as I close the door, I got you. I love the fact that I didn't talk until... I'm just not gonna talk anymore, I guess. I'm just not gonna talk, I guess. Right. Hey, it's his house! Play the stage scene. What stage scene? I'm being watched by Squidward. What? Why'd you open? I got a hoodie on and I still got chills, man. It's not cool. Me and two other interns were in the editing room along with the lead animators and sound editors for the final cut. We received the copy, the copy that was supposed to be Fear of a Krabby Patty and gathered around the screen to watch. Now, given that it isn't final yet, animators often put up a mock title card. Sort of an inside joke for us with phony, oftentimes lewd titles such as How Sex Doesn't Work instead of Rockabye Bivolve. <sighs> When Spongebob and Patrick adopt a sea scout, nothing particular funny but work-related chuckles, so when we saw the title card Squidward Suicide, we didn't think it more than a morbid joke. It was anything but a morbid joke, huh? It was the fact that someone actually animated something dark and creepy, right? That's... I don't... like the looks of that... at all. I don't like the looks of this um oh that's bad that's complete the stage scene and start the ritual the start the ritual of what 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 scene what scene I don't like this I want to tap out oh. Oh. I don't want to do that. I would appreciate not now arriving at stage scene. Oh god, I hate this. I hate this. I really do. I really no. Patrick! Oh no! I hate it. What the crap is this? Ladies and gentlemen. Please give it up for the one and only Squidward and his clarinet. 
Am I? Oh, I'm actually stuck in an invisible box here. Hey, buddy. Good old Diddy. It's a good old Diddy. Okay, we're gonna start booing. I will smack you off if you start booing. This man is talented. This squid. You shut up! He's doing his best! He's playing it very well! No! Squidward! Don't be sad! It's okay, they just don't appreciate you! Uh oh. Um, um, what is happening? What is happening? Why are all of your eyes red? Why do you all want- Oh, I thought my neck just snapped. I thought I was dead. I thought my neck was- Oh, find a way to drain the water, then find the lift. This, this is so not cool. Oh, a lot of good questions, my friend. I can't jump. I thought I was gonna have to jump on boxes. Oh no, not again. I better, I better stay, stay out of sight. Are you kidding me? So don't get too close? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I didn't realize the handle was right there. Find the lift and continue. Oh, believe me, I will. Oh, oh. Okay, I should, I should do, do it. it. What, what was that? Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. Huh. Don't know what that, that was. was. I'm getting the hell out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Or I'm gonna try. Yeah, just gonna run by you. So, how am I supposed to get by him? I'm just gonna do this. Just gonna do this. Just gonna do this because I don't want that loud noise in my headphones. <laughs> I don't know what that, that was. was. I'm getting the hell out, out of here. Was it because I was running? I think it was because I was running! Play the crying scene. What? Which one's a crying scene? Uh, I would politely ask you to stop that. Which one's the crying? Is that it? Is that the crying scene? Is that the crying scene? This is the crying scene. This is the crying scene. So, what we've learned is when Squidward is close by, don't run. Because that's when he notices. Okay, I get it. Good lord. That's no. Oh, this is all kinds of messed up. This is so. Uh, uh. Is he crying? I'm. I'm sorry you're crying, but Josh is trying to kill me. So, what I've learned is I can't run around you because then you hear me in the splish splash of the water. Oh, look a key card. Let me just pick that up. <laughs> Hi, bud. Hi, buddy. Hi! One of the interns did a small throat laugh at it. The happy-go-lucky music plays as of normal. The story began with Squidward practicing his clarinet, heading a few sour notes like normal. We hear Spongebob laughing outside and Squidward stops, yelling at him to keep it down as he has a concert that night and needs to practice. That's quite a few different episodes, I think. Spongebob says okay and goes to see Sandy with Patrick. The bubble splash screen comes up and we see the ending of Squid Squidward's concert. concert. This is when things began to seem off. Why... Why did they seem off? Oh no, I'm gonna have to get close to him. Oh no. Hey buddy. 
Okay, thank God. Cause I'm pretty sure if I got very close to you, I was gonna die. Okay, 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 running! 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 <laughs> Suffering Succotash! It's because I look back. I think it's because I look back. And you can see, I think you can see the line of where it opens up. Yeah. Yeah, just gonna go, 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 just gonna... I'm gonna get caught again, aren't I? Come on, make it! Yes! Good great. Don't listen to him, I'm watching you. What? Huh? What? What? I just want to start off by saying, if you want an answer at the end, prepare to be disappointed. There just isn't one. Hi, buddy. Stop opening. Hi. Yeah, I'd see you waving at me. About five seconds after the second photo played, Squidward went silent. As did all sound. Oh, there was Squidward like in the room it too. Was when the scene started, but his tentacles down. Well, he put his tentacles down. Oh, I hate it. And his eyes were now done with hyperrealism, like others were in the beginning of the episode. Okay. They were bleeding. What? Blood shots, and standing he just stared at the screen as if watching the viewer uh, after 10 seconds he started slobbering this time not covering his eyes the sound was bloody loud mm, like static loud mm -hmm. and most fear including of all this his slobbering was mixed with screams yeah I I've already helped that a second part of that again neither do I and yet here I am dealing what with this is happening what is going on? Well, I need to say you have to continue the episode if you want to complete the ritual. No. My name is Curly. And you there, mate, standing in the living room looking around next to the phone. I'm here to help you no. get out of this mess. Well done. That was well done. A little parts were infuriating, but that's because I didn't realize I couldn't run around Squidward. Um, when I got caught on that line the second time when trying to go through that kind of irritated me and frustrated me a little bit, but that's okay. But that was well done in terms of like, I always love it when people take Disney and Spongebob and all this other kind of stuff and put a horror twist on it because for some reason it just works. It's just terrifying. And I love that. There's just something about it that just, it's great. Just the mechanics kind of felt a little bit frustrating in terms of controls just because you know when you get caught on something when it's like now going into the moment of you have to run and it catches you and you can't move even though you're already holding w and you have to press it again to continue moving forward that that's a little frustrating to me i feel like there should be some kind of smooth transition i understand that sometimes it doesn't want to work properly and i completely get that even in betas again i understand that's going to be completely frustrating i'm just Hopefully for full game, for the full game, coming out of that moment of now, it's like, oh, now you have to run. Even if you're still holding W, you still have that moment of running. Because, I mean, for people like me, I don't know if anyone else does this, but when I'm playing horror games or games in general, and then there's a cutscene, I'm still holding the button down to make sure I'm moving. Just because if anything where you have to run away from something, I want to be instantly just going. A few games will not let you run right out of the cutscene. You have to push W again or push on a con uh, controller you have to push the joystick again so I understand sometimes that transition is not always there but you know if made if at all possible it would be great to have in the full game just my thought whatever other than that like it's a great game in terms of horror the story is really good so I'm looking forward to the full game so well done on that if you enjoyed this make sure to smash that like button if you want to check it out for yourself the link will be in the description below if you have any comments you'd like to make about what you thought about this game, from what you were seeing, you know where to leave them. If you have any games you'd like to see me play for future videos or series, leave a suggestion down below. I take them on into consideration. And if you're new around here, why not hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified of my next video. But I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!